When you want a smooth transition from tile to floor coverings at lower elevations, especially if you are using carpet, the Schluter Reno TK Profile is a perfect solution. Not only does the profile protect the edges of the tile, but it also has a channel beneath the sloped flange that hides and protects the carpet edge. Reno TK is available in a variety of different materials and finishes. Need to create curves in the floor design? In some materials, the anchoring leg of the Reno TK is available with a special radius perforation so that you can produce those designs. All of these features make Reno TK a great choice for floor transitions to lower surface coverings. We all know that planning is important with any tile installation. It's even more critical when working with profiles. It's the key to a successful project. In our demonstration, we will be installing tile adjacent to carpet. We have selected the tile and profiles and determined the overall layout. The Reno TK will be installed to create a smooth transition between the tile and carpet. The Schluter Dilex EKE movement joint will be used at the floor to wall transitions and the inside wall corner. The tile base will be finished with the Schluter Rondek profile. We selected the Reno TK size according to the thickness and format of the tile that will be used. In addition to tile setting tools, we will also need to choose the proper tools to cut the profiles. This will depend on what material the profile is made of. We will cut the Reno TK in aluminum using a miter saw with a non-ferrous blade. If you will be using the stainless steel Reno TK, it is best to use a variable speed angle grinder set to the lowest speed with the ProCut TSM cutting wheel. The ProCut TSM can also be used to cut aluminum profiles. A third option is to simply use a hacksaw with a bimetal blade. With the planning complete, let's prepare for installation. The floor is now ready for tile installation. We have installed the Schluter Ditra uncoupling membrane where the tile is going to be set. The Reno TK profiles are installed at the same time as the tile. This sequence may vary. It depends on your layout and installer preference. First, measure where the Reno TK will be installed. Then, transfer the measurement to the profile. Keep in mind that we must avoid any overlap of the profile anchoring legs because this will interfere with the tile installation. We make miter cuts to produce a clean transition between the Reno TK profiles. Be sure to observe all safety instructions and standards. We cut the Reno TK using a miter saw with a non-ferrous blade. For best results, cut the profile slowly. An accurate cut ensures a clean transition. Then, file the cut end of the profile to remove any burrs. Try fit the profiles. Next, we cut the Dilex EKE, keeping in mind that we must avoid any overlap of the adjacent profile anchoring legs. Now we can move on to the installation. Using a notched trowel, apply thin set mortar to the area where the first section of the Reno TK profile will be installed. Firmly press the anchoring leg of the profile into the thin set mortar and align. The next piece of Reno TK is installed the same way. Take care to align the profiles, paying close attention to the area where the profiles meet. Next, we trowel additional thin set mortar over the anchoring legs. This is necessary to ensure full coverage and support of the tile edges. Solidly embed the tiles into the thin set mortar so that the tiled surface is flush with the top of the profiles. The profile should not be higher than the tiled surface, but rather up to approximately 1 32nd of an inch or 1 millimeter lower. Set the tile up to the integrated joint spacer. This will provide a uniform grout joint. If you are using the Reno TK in stainless steel or brass, there is no integrated joint spacer so you will need to leave a space of approximately 1 16th to 1 8th inch. Don't forget to clean any excess setting material immediately from the profile to avoid any damage to the finish. 
we complete the installation by setting the remaining tiles. As you can see, the Reno TK is the perfect solution when you need to protect tile edges and provide smooth transitions to carpet. Another great innovation from Schluter Systems.